Have you ever stood up an app date? Yes. 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 So Lots why? of them. Why would you make the date and then stand them up? Because there was something better on the, around the corner, anyway. <laughs> yeah. So you were someone you better, grinder, someone closer, someone closer, someone hotter, yeah. someone with the bigger dick. Sorry, yeah. he's only 114 <laughs> feet away. So I'm sorry. So you're on the app, you looked at him, you're like, okay, this will work. You're heading over there, and about halfway there, boom, somebody else pops up. You go, oh, he's right I'm here. My autobiography isn't even out yet. What are you doing? <laughs> I've gotten backlash from it, from these guys. People like, get mad, yeah. Like, you're making a reputation for yourself. You should stop doing that. You should not cancel on people. I mean, I, like, but on the other end, I don't I've had that happen it, to me, yeah. so. Right. Exactly. You I've had guys come that. to my door, see me, and walk away. Yeah. Right. So... so. It, you can't take it too seriously. I mean, it it is for pleasure. It is for fun. It's it's to have a good time, and you know, don't worry about it too much. I mean, right. it happens every once well, in a while. Well, there's a million reasons you could get turned down too. Yeah. It might not have anything to do with you personally. Exactly. Yeah, it, it could, could be, be they don't like the fact that your house smells like a dog, or that you know, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it could be a. Or yeah, they had built plethora. up expectations of right. what you would be and who you would look like, and yeah. and it's their prerogative to yeah. say no. So. Yeah, and I would say no too if I yeah. wanted to. So. Right. I don't blame anyone for saying no. Because so, I do it often. So we were talking about drag queens mm -hmm. and doing drag. Yes. And you said you love drag. I do. As, I'm a fan. as an art. I mean, I, I love. I'm, a, I'm an artist like myself, going, actor, musician, and all that. So, yeah. so you like going to drag shows and watching entertainers? I do. My first drag show was. Um, I had actually turned 18 a week before living in Dublin, Ireland. My first drag Ooh. show was in. Let me just pick that right up off yeah, the pick, floor. Yeah, pick Dublin off the floor. Um, no, but m my, first, my first gay bar and my first drag show was in Dublin, Ireland when I was 18. And, like, yeah, I mean, it, since then, I've, I've loved the art form. Um, I have total respect for it. And after doing it myself, it hurts. It's fucking hard. It's painful. So it's I, I give Queens a lot of credit. Have you ever dated a drag queen? And I don't mean long term, but even gone out on a date or two. Right. You know, have you ever dated I've, a drag queen? I don't know. Have I kai kied? Um, I don't think so. No, I, don't, I actually don't. Not that I'm opposed to it. I just don't think the opportunity's been there. You know, a lot of queens these days they hustle. They're doing it. They're making. Right. You know, they're they're concentrated and focused on their art. And you know, I don't. Yeah, I don't think the opportunity has ever come by me. So. Yeah, no, I have to agree. I've never, never dated or hooked up with a drag queen. Not that saying I wouldn't, yeah. but I right. mean, if Pearl came and stuck his dick <laughs> in my face, I'd probably do it. But <laughs> yeah, there are plenty of rue girls that yeah. Yeah. But if you did, if you did say hook up with Pearl, would you want to go out with Pearl on a date? Would you want him to be in drag or out of drag? I would. I really wouldn't care to be honest, because I know when. The deed is getting done. She's not having drag on anyway, for the most part. So. You never know. Well, I mean, yeah, you can slip it past, and yeah, <laughs> this one's like cut. 